Many of us are also trying to be like the teammates of Forest Lake, thinking about giving to those in need. As we begin this Thanksgiving week, Americans donated more than $400 billion to charity last year. That's a record high. Unfortunately, giving also puts people at risk for potential scams. Lee Gallagher is Fortune Magazine's senior editor at large. Good morning, Lee. Good morning. Good, Good morning, to everybody. You. Great morning. to be here. Happy early Thanksgiving. To you too. So in the aftermath of these wildfires, for example, yeah. people want to give, yeah. um, but how do they know to give to the right place. Well, you have to be really careful, especially after natural disasters. We really, that's exactly when you see fraud strike. There's a lot of opportunists out there who will spring up with charities that sound really legitimate but aren't. So you have to be really careful. And there's an incredible urge. This is called episodic giving. It doesn't impact other giving. People, it just strikes at their heartstrings for obvious reasons. And it's so easy to give online these days. So you really want to look and make sure that, the, that these are real 501c3 organizations. You can look to a charity you're thinking of up on Charity Navigator or another ratings agencies. Those are very, very good at really letting you know they're legit. Sometimes you might need their employee identification number, EIN, but you should be able to get that. So that's one thing to, to keep, that's the most important thing to keep in mind. And what are some of the questions that people should be asking these charities if they're thinking about donating? You know, you ask them, what is your mission? If they can't answer that question, that's a real red flag. Why are you doing this? What's your history? Um, you know, those are the things you should ask. You should also ask yourself, what do I want to give, you know, what means the most to me? This is your money. I mean, obviously, if you're donating to a disaster, you just want to, you just want to give the relief. Yeah. But, um, you, you say, know. You say nothing is better than cash because you look at people who've been burned out of their homes. You think, I have all these clothes on. I'm not right. using or shoes or items and you think that sounds good but it's impractical yes what what these charities need most above everything else is cash so your clothes are great for the local goodwill there's lots of places you can do lots of things you can do with that but your money is what they need because think about it sometimes I mean the volleyball team is is a different story they were giving to the local opposing team it was so lovely mm -hmm. but sometimes the distribution channels in the case of a natural disaster are totally upended so your stuff might not even be able to get there yeah. might not be exactly what's needed you may have men's clothes they may need women's clothes cash money Money is everything, even five or ten dollars. We know that the internet can magnify giving, so every little bit counts, but cash is better than anything else. And what's the best yeah. way to make an impact this holiday season? The best way to make an impact is, um, you know, really think about what means a lot to you. In, in addition to disaster giving, we do think that regular giving is going to be up. The economy is doing well. There is a sense of people giving gifts with purpose, so that is, you know, people are giving donations as gifts. Um, think about what means something to you. Some people advise a strategy of decide what you're going to give throughout the year. You should give throughout the year and then make sort of buckets. Like I'm going to give this much to something that really helps change the world. I'm going to give this much to something in my local community because that really impacts you know, the people around you. And then you always have to reserve some for the people in your office who are running marathons and everything. Yeah. <laughs> the chart, the graphic that we just showed, uh, number three, random favors. Well, that, that, that's the random favors. exactly. Okay. And those add up. But yeah. I love to really make sure that when someone comes to me, I can no problem. I give to every person in my office that, are, that, that is doing something like that because yeah. it's great and you want to support it. But you just put that in one of your buckets. Do you have a marathon in your future? Oh gosh, <laughs> I don't. I was I, maybe. You know, when I went and looked at the New York, every time I watched the New York Marathon, I'm like, maybe, I maybe know. next year. Inspiring. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I did a triathlon, triathlon once, but. Not a marathon. But, no. Let us know. We'll contribute. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right. Right, right here. Now I know where to come. Early funders already. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it to it. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. It's good to have you here.